how's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech back with another video. And today uh, we broke some news that I found a permit in my city of Ocala, Florida that in fact stated that there was a new Ericsson radio called the 6464 uh, Air Radio that in fact could do DOD and uh, regular C-band, which is the uh, 3.5, the 3.7 is the regular C-band and 3.5 is the DOD spectrum in one radio it is dual it says dual radio i've looked it up over multiple permits there's two different ones it never once did it say anything other than 6464 okay so this is legit straight from ericsson straight from at&t um this is not a you know a third party this is straight from them so this is the tower we're here it's a racetrack off of uh, south pine in Ocala, it's a fairly new racetrack. It's only about two and a half years old. This tower is only about two, about two years old. Um, Dish has also got on it, and they're planning to, I believe, replace that third, the one in the middle. They're going to replace it right there, the one in the middle, and they're going to add new radios. And they're going to put C-band, the dual radio C-band antennas there. So I want to get a good uh, before and after of this, if this is, is indeed true. Now, some people have been stating that this is not true and they're putting dual radios uh, inside of one. They're basically kind of molding the 6-4... The other two DOD radios and putting it inside one housing. And then maybe they're just calling it the 6464. We, the permit does not indicate this at all. The permit indicates this is a new type of radio. It's not even on the Ericsson website yet. So we just ran a speed test. Now I'll run one more, of course. But that was nine, what was that 97 megabits per second? There we go. Let me see if I can get... Okay, now it's over 100. And this tower is starting to slow down. I'm not going to lie. But it's still plenty fast for the day-to-day. -day. Let's see if I can get the uh, volume up a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, it looks dark to me. But you can look on there. It's uh, 119. Let me see if I can... Hold on. Get the, the brightness to go up a little bit. Turn off automatic. Yeah. Okay, so it's just really bright out apparently. But you see it right here, 119. Not too bad. And then 14.1 for the uh, uplink. So really good. Pretty good. Just, we can uh, test T-Mobile. They're behind me. Verizon has a permit to put C-band on the tower behind me as well. And you can see T-Mobile, no contest. They they rule this area with an iron fist. They rule all of South Pine with an iron fist. They have the most towers, the most upgraded towers. It is what it is. But this is very cool to see. It's gonna happen really soon, hopefully. I know in Ocala, I've seen permits in the city. There's two type of permits in Ocala. One is for the city limits and one is for the county. The city limit permits usually get approved significantly faster than county permits. I've seen permits get approved as early as the next day. And I've seen it as take as long as about a month. But on average, I would say two to three weeks before approval. Then six months um, that they get six months from the approval date to come up here and handle business. Now, I've, it's rare to see a carrier get an extension. They can get it, no problem, but it's rare to see them take that long. Um, T-Mobile just did that. They got three extensions on three different towers claiming to have a tower shortage uh, 
and that's what the permit said personally. They had a tower shortage, now they're starting to catch up. So it's possible that uh, AT&T may not get this out until next year, but highly doubtful. We will know very soon. If I had to guess, I would say between July and August, if I was taking a guess, we will know what this tower, uh, if that equipment is indeed correct. Since some people, um, they want conclusive evidence. I mean, I can only tell you what the permit says. It doesn't appear to be wrong. But anyways, that's gonna do it for the video. Like, share, subscribe, follow me. Um, on Twitter at Terrell352. Uh, huge shout out to Sneed <coughs> Mobile ah, Sneed Mobile Tech. Uh, huge shout out to Tyrone from Tech Live. Huge shout out to the Tech Extremists. Um, they all gave me uh, credit, you know, for the fun and everything. I appreciate that, you guys. But until the next video, I'm out. Coming soon.